Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Uh, the other day I went to do some reloading and my electronic powder scale wouldn't turn on. Uh, specifically, I've got an RCBS Chargemaster 1500 here. So I took it apart to do some troubleshooting on it and I figured as long as I'm doing that I might as well bring you guys along for the ride and see what we can learn. Now, as you can see, I've already done some basic disassembly. Uh, in order to take it apart, I just had to remove some screws from the bottom of the casing, uh, and then a couple more screws inside that hold uh, this circuit board to the underside of this, and then this little uh, connector hooks onto that circuit board and relays feedback from the buttons to the uh, processor. Um, in order to remove the screws, I did have to break a couple of seals that would void the warranty, but in this case, the warranty has been expired for you know upwards of 10 years anyway, so that's not a big deal. Now, in my experience, push buttons like this actually wear out relatively easily. Um, so my first hypothesis that I want to test is that maybe it's just this on-off button that is no longer working correctly and if that's the only problem then that would be a pretty easy fix. Okay, so what I've got here is basically just a setup to check for continuity uh, and using that I think I figured out what the connections are inside the control panel here. Uh, you know, we've got this flat connector, and it looks to me like the far left connector, uh, or the far left pin of the connector, is a common terminal for these three function buttons. Uh, if I connect that to one terminal of my ohm meter, and then take the next three pins over, uh, are the uh, contacts for these three. So if I take uh, a reading between the far left and the second to the left, uh, I get no continuity until I press the far left button and then that drops to like seven ohms. Uh, if I move this wire over one pin, then I can use the zero button, the second button from the left, same effect. Move it over one more and the next button now works uh, if I do, if I check the continuity between the far left and either of the, far, of the two buttons on the right or the two terminals on the right, I don't get anything regardless of whether or not this is pressed. I think these two on the right are dedicated to the on-off button, however, if I connect those, okay, it's not doing it now. Okay, well that's interesting. It seems to have fixed itself. Um, when I had this hooked up a minute ago, as soon as I'd hook it up, I'd get a reading of about 70 ohms on this, uh, between these two terminals. And then when I pressed the on-off button, I would get a reading of uh, you know about seven ohms, so it would drop off. But now it seems to be working what I presume is correctly. I guess the camera scared it into working. Okay, at this point, since the button seems to have started working again, I could probably just put this thing back together, and it would probably work fine. Uh, but while I've got it apart, I want to test one more thing just to see if I can confirm my understanding of these contacts and how the button works. So if I'm right, then uh, turn the signal to turn it on should equate to connecting these two pins on the right together. So this probe isn't connected to anything, but of course it's conductive. So if I just short between those two pins, the scale turns itself on. And so when and if the push button does finally fail for good, um, I can just go in there, disconnect those two pins from the connector, 
and solder in a couple of wires that I can run to a momentary push button that I can mount somewhere else on the case or drill a hole through the old push button and mount it in the same place. Um, so it would be a pretty easy thing to fix uh, if it hadn't fixed itself. Well, I got my powder scale all put back together and it seems to be fully operational. In fact, I know from past experience that that powder pan weighs exactly 172.6 grains empty. So I may not even need to recalibrate that scale after taking it apart and putting it back together. Uh, in any case, I think the moral of our story is that if you have an electronic powder scale that quits working on you, don't throw it away, uh, just take it apart, and it's very possibly an easy fix. Uh, anyway, now that my scale's working again, I've got some ammo to load, but until next time, thanks for watching The Idahoan Show.